Up next, we have another high-level strawweight showdown between Namiki Kawahara and Daniel Williams. Two fighters looking to make a statement at 156 and perhaps break into the top elite five. Given how both of these men fight, fans are not expecting this to last a distance. Good morning, gentlemen. Daniel, before we talk about your upcoming fight, can you share your thoughts on your countrymen, the legendary John Wayne Parr's retirement fight? At 1X, were you inspired by his performance? Oh, I'm so inspired by John Wayne Parr. He's an absolute legend. Um, super nice guy as well. I was just really happy how he finished strong. And that's a true Muay Thai testament, just to always finish the fight strong. You know, he got knocked down in the first round, and then he just still finished strong. And it just shows he's a warrior. And he's inspiring for me because that's how I want to fight. And um, I love his personality. How has John Wayne Parr's career uh, influenced your career? majorly so i actually got to fight on his cage muay thai show in the small gloves um yeah eight years ago now so he uh, really inspired me to want to get into one championship when they did the small gloves in the cage and he's always looked after me as well like uh brought me back to his show and um, always just give me words of encouragement as well so um yeah he's one of my heroes one of my inspirations and yeah, just a super nice guy. All right. This is obviously a, a very, very big fight for you as well. Um, you're, you've got a lot of momentum heading into this one. Well, how do you feel ahead of this fight? I feel great. Super confident. Can't wait for Friday to come around. I'm sort of just counting down the days now because all the hard work's done. And now I just need to get there. And yeah, really, really good camp. No injuries, no uh, issues. I got to work all my MMA the grappling, the striking, uh, striking. And um, I've just had in a really good mental space, you know, a couple of the other camps, there's all these, all these issues. And like, now I'm starting to find momentum because I'm actually fighting more now. If you look at my record, like I'll have a fight and then I'll have like a year off, then I have another fight. But uh, one championship has gave me the opportunity to keep fighting. So I just feel so much better each fight. All right. That's obviously, you know, had a huge difference in your career, being able to stay sharp and fight multiple times uh, over to Miki right now. Your opponent has had a lot of striking experience. He's even been in there with Rod Tang and more than held his own against one of the most lethal strikers in the world. But he's only had five MMA fights compared to your 13. Do you think that experience gap will be to your advantage? Uh, はい、あの、ま、ストライクストライキングが得意で、あの、ま、有名な選手とも I'm not really sure whether the experience in MMA will affect in this uh, match, but uh, but I don't feel like losing this time. All right. Namiki, you once called your style one of the most unique in one championship. For fans who don't know, what sets your fighting style apart from the competition? How would you describe it? えっと、ナミキ選手あの、ナミキ選手のあの、ファイティングスタイルって1の中でもとてもあの、ま、ユニークだと。ま、他の選手と比べて、あの、やっぱこう独特だっていう、あの、意見が多いんですけども、どうします
In Japanese, um, the Japanese character for, uh, for my name, Namiki, it means um, uh, the wave shines. So when, whenever I fight, like I always um, image a wave and I try to shine each time. So, well, that's one of the reason. And the other reason is um, it's my lifestyle. Um, whenever I play games or I play baseball or swim in the pool, like I always try to connect it with MMA. So I, I try to think out of the box. So I don't really have like a, a style, but you know, just everything just turns out to be original and unique. All right. Back over to Daniel right now. You're riding some good momentum. Just this February, you stopped the former strawweight world champion in Dejdemrong, Sora Amnoy Sirichok, obviously a legend in his sport of Muay Thai. Do you feel you have the momentum heading into this fight, and how do you sustain that? Yeah, of course. So having the last fight and getting the win, I maintained my level of fitness, so it gave me a boost for this camp where I could just work on different things. Uh, and, um, yeah, just super confident. And um, I like... Uh, how uh, Namiki's got a different flow as well. So this is why I'm here in one championship. You get to fight all these different styles and I'm just prepared for that. So yeah, really looking forward to it. That was the first uh, MMA fight for you under one championship. Um, how was that yeah. experience for you and what did you learn from it? So uh, Dej Morong is one of my idols. He, I've seen him fight seven years ago, his first MMA fight in one championship. And for me to fight him, uh, especially for his retirement fight, um it was huge in my martial arts career and you know i'm i'm here on this path of life like life short and to do that and fight your idols it just shows i'm on the right path so for me to get that win it's just it's just giving me so much drive now i'm like i can do this I'm, I'm, he's passed the guard to me now i'm going to show the world my striking and um i'm going to break into that top five and then ultimately get that title all right namiki it's been a while since we last saw you in action. Uh, you came to one championship, you know, with a lot of momentum, riding high and looking to, to really make waves in this promotion. Unfortunately, you suffered a tough loss against Lito Adiwang last year. Have you recovered mentally from that loss? And how are you a different fighter now? <laughs> ま、あの、惜しくもあの、リト選手に負けてしまって、ま、あの、ま、当初はその波に乗って、ま、輝こうと思ってたと思うんですけど、あ、リト選手と、ま、惜しくも負けた後、その後なんかあの、精神的にこ
um, a disadvantage. All right, back over to Daniel. Um, you're all you're also in a very unique position. You you have the ability to switch between uh, one super series and MMA. Um, do you plan on continuing to compete in various disciplines in the future, or do you plan to stick to MMA this time? I want to be able to fight both. I'm a martial artist. And I understand this is the martial arts business. So I just want one championship to know I can do whatever they want, special rules, Muay Thai, MMA, whatever opponent they want. Um, I'm going to stand up to the challenge because yeah, I started martial arts at a very young age and I've done various martial arts and I, I back myself in having, uh, being the best in both. So that, that's my goal. I would like to do both. I am loving this MMA journey so far because my skills uh, developing MMA, um, whereas Muay Thai, I kind of got to the top there. And then, um, yeah, it's, it's, I guess it's not as exciting as training MMA, but, um, now there's all these killers in the straw weight division in both. I, I can see myself doing both quite regularly. And yeah, my goal is to work. I'm in the top five in Muay Thai already. So I'm looking at that champion there. Rajan Chai, and then of course I'm going to break into the a top five for MMA, and I got time. I, I got time on my hand. All right, you mentioned uh, special rules about uh, there was a very big one at One X uh, Rod Tang versus Demetrius Johnson. What did you think about that? Oh, it's so exciting! That, that just made me think like, oh, I would love to do that. Just the mix rules. It shows various martial arts. We got to see Rod Tang uh, in his element the first round, and then it completely changed. Like he completely changed his style. And um, I personally wouldn't do that. I felt he should have come forward a little bit more. And um, I was watching him thinking, oh, he should have done that, did it on that. So in the back of my mind, I'm like, damn, I want to do that. All right, Namiki. Daniel is a very experienced fighter in multiple disciplines. Like, like we said, he's a striker. He's an MMA fighter. What about his skills and style are you concerned about, though? Is there anything in particular that you prepared for in this fight? It doesn't make sense in this ま、対戦、対戦相手のダニエル選手のあの、well, um, looking at his um, previous bouts, um, it's pretty obvious that Daniel has, you know, amazing striking skills. So that's one part that I have to be careful. But, you know, still, this bout is MMA. So I'll just, you know, fight MMA and and show you what I got. Daniel, you've all, obviously you've studied uh, Namiki's very distinct style. He does have a unique one. Have you prepared for anything in particular that he brings to the table? What What do you think about his skills? Um, he's very unpredictable, so I'm prepared for that. I um, I know that he's good on the ground as well, so I'm prepared for that. I prepare for an MMA fight, same as him. I'm not preparing to just keep it standing. This is a, a showcase of both our skills. And... Um, yeah, I, I, I'm just, I know he's unpredictable. So I, um, yeah, I've, I've watched him closely there. And I know he likes to fake a lot and try to draw you in. So I am, um, um, yeah, really going to turn it into an MMA fight. Who do you think has the better striking skills between the two of you? Obviously, you've had a lot of experience in Muay Thai and kickboxing and, and have won, you know, world titles at the highest levels. Um, but, you know, looking at his striking skills is more geared towards MMA. Who do you think has the better MMA striking? MMA striking? Yeah, of yeah. course. I always back myself. I, I believe I'm, I'm the best uh, MMA striker for sure. So I believe I have the best, but his is a different style. So that's why it's a very interesting match because it's he's not going to... Dejmron came at me Muay Thai, whereas I'm not, I, I don't, that's comfortable for me. So this is uncomfortable now. This is a different style, but always back myself. And I do believe I'm the best striker in the MMA division right now. Namiki, what do you think is going to be the difference maker in this fight? Why are you going to beat Daniel Williams? Namiki, <laughs> Well, the the difference maker will definitely be the experience in MMA. Do you think that's going to play a huge role in this uh, in this fight? Do you think 
at the same time, do you think Daniel is um, inexperienced with, when it comes to the MMA fighting style um, and that he will be at a disadvantage against you? ま、あの、ま、経験の差っていうのはま、あの、MMA um, as Daniel mentioned, um, you know, I'm unpredictable and I have my original style. So, you know, definitely Daniel's gonna, you know, have a hard time fighting with me. And I'm pretty, I'm really confident that, you know, this time around, it's gonna be a big win for me. All right, Daniel, I'm gonna throw the same question to you, sir. What do you think uh, Namiki's going to have problems with in terms of your fighting style? Just my will, man. I, I I look at this as like putting food on my table. I want to make this sport my living. So I, I need to just put on an absolute show and get it done so I can keep moving up. So just my willpower, my, my hunger right now, that's that's going to get me over the edge. All right. It's time to call your shot, gentlemen. Namiki, first starting with you. How are you going to win this fight? Do you have any prediction on how this will end? どうや、どういう結末になると思いますか。どういうふうに勝つと思いますか。あ、どっちが勝とうが負けようがフィニッシュで終わると思います。自分がフィニッシュします。フィニッシュ、フィニッシュっていうのは一本ですか、KO です